Hello everyone. I am Adarsh Raj. I am a B.E. Mechanical student. I am having my final year at Dr. Sivandi Aditana College of Engineering, Tirchandu. I want to conclude a topic with you. Let's go to the topic. This is my topic. Design and analysis of seismic bearing and bridge using hyperelastic material to reduce the vibrations. Submitted by Adarsh Raj, Deepak Mithish Kumar, Dennis, Harigara Sudan. Our guider is Dr. M. Sidambarat Danu. Let's go to the topic. This introduction. Okay, next we are going to see that what is hyperelastic material. Hyperelastic material is nothing but um, the material which elast is has an elastic limit and higher than any other materials. It elastic limit is higher. Uh, then next we have to see about the seismic bearing. Seismic bearing is nothing but it is a kind of bridge bearing. Seismic bearing we are using it here in bridge. So it is a kind of bridge bearing. But it is mainly designed to reduce the minimum forces and displacement during an earthquake. Earthquake and natural disasters. Okay. Next go to the top. Next page. The abstract is making a lead rubber bearing to re reduce the vibrations during earthquake. Okay. This is the image of the design. Uh, here we see that the bridge. This is the bridge, the upper edge and the lower edge. This is the seismic bearing insulated here. The seismic bearing is used to reduce the vibrations. If a vibration occurs, like earthquake or any natural disasters, a vibration occurs, it will move a path. It will jerk. Not only, nah, it will jerk only. This is the design parameters of hyperelastic material. These are the material mechanical parameters and this is the parameter value. This is the work of solid works design. Here, this is the upper edge and this is the lower edge. These are the fondals are the bearings. It is fonded with steel and uh, cement. These are the hyperelastic materials. Uh, mainly, hyperelastic materials is classified into seven types. But we took the top three. That is monorivalin, yolk, and neohokin. Okay. Monorivalin. In monorivalin, gives the highest accuracy and it gives non-linear behavior of Isotropic. Isotropic means same. Same fiber like materials. It gives higher accuracy and uh, gives you more differences. Here the stress and strain graph. Let's see we have seen in the picture. Next slide is this is the total deformation and the static structural of equivalent stress. This is the equivalent stress graph. This is the total deformation graph that we have done in ANSYS. This is the Neohokin model. Neohokin model gives the study of vulcanized rubber. Vulcanized rubber means hardened rubber. The more particles of hardened rubber pieces are settled in the place. And this is the outline position uh, parameters Neohokin stress strain graph. These are the parameters and the materials used, like uh, in the initial shear modelers and compressed in the etc. etc. These are the structural and uh, stress strain graph. In yoke model, it gives the incompressible, that is rubber like rubber like materials. And uh, these are the stress strain graph. Okay. These are the general properties, general properties of a hyperelastic material and a rubber. In instead of rubber, hyperelastic materials gives more accuracy and more compact strength than rubber. So we prefer hyperelastic material to get more compact strength during the natural disasters. This is the theoretical calculation of our project. Answers calculation. This is the result. Uh, while compared to Neohokin, uh, while compared to Yolk. Neohokin gives better deformation. See 9.5815 and 9.582. And while compared to the Neohokin and uh, Yolk, Moni Rivlin gives the best total deformation and to best equivalent stress. So we prefer Moni Rivlin for hyperelastic material to build the uh, uh, seismic bearing in bridge. Thank you.